what I am offering uh, going forward and what I have been talking about has led me to this point. What I went through has led me to this point. I'll go further into it as we go along. What I'm offering is a rebirth, as to say. Uh, if you follow, if you follow me, and you incorporate this into your life, and you live by a certain code, and you have certain realizations that I will go further into here, and you can learn to distinguish content from reality, and you can learn to be yourself. That's uh, being your authentic self where it's at. Uh, if you can do this, I can promise you a nearly perfect process into into when to where you can wake up and and have a rebirth. It's took me two years uh, to get to this point. Uh, some of the things I've said, I plan on going back and revisiting because I was lost and deluded and or uh, just not fully aware, you could say. So some things I will go back and revisit further. But these are some realizations and things you have to get in your head before the, before any of this can happen. Or you can pretend like you don't even have to pretend just trust me and believe me that what i'm telling you is useful beneficial and will eventually be your redemption your rebirth so there needs to come a certain point to where you become self-aware you have to have a moment a realization of self then you also need to have a realization of God because God is very, very, very real. Uh, that's something else I need to discuss and go back further upon. Now, the religious version of God uh, that is presented to you today is part of God. It's not separate from God. That is God. However, that is not the God I'm really talking about here. I'm talking about this thing that loves you unconditionally no matter what you do and gives you the the grace and dignity enough to do it like this is something i started doing and my life has worked out a lot better i'm going to just sprinkle things in here every day and multiple times throughout the day i thank god for being here for being alive for experiencing this and for having, just having this experience and, and it being in my life and being a part of me. You also need to have a realization of Christ. Something that's very important. And I'm not talking about Jesus, even though Jesus is a very wonderful man, uh, a very great example. I'm talking about Christ, the if you believe anything Jesus said, if you believe one thing, you have to believe them all. He said, anything I can do, you can do. Why would he say that? And why would I tell you this? Because there's a certain realizations you can have. And there's a certain state of consciousness you can get into to where you just need Christ. Trust me on this one. Now, you also need to have... You need to have realizations, right? These are important, but the most important one, uh, in my humble opinion, is the realization of love. What love really is. Love is not some silly emotion. Even, I don't want to say silly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like silly. Because love is not silly, even if you, no matter your outlook on love. But what I'm telling you is there's a deeper, 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 deeper very deep meaning of love and it is something that you are all these things i'm saying are you my friend you're connected to it you're it but you need to know this you can't believe it you need to know it now it's no secret i have taken psychedelics to uh speed this up or further along or or whatever the case may be but i'm telling you you don't need them it probably would benefit you um, and I can just go on my own experiences here. It probably would benefit you at a certain point for, to a certain degree, but 
you don't need them. That's what I'm saying. And they don't do anything. They're a tool, you could say. So these are things you need to have realizations of. You need to also, like I said, you need to have a, you need to be able to distinguish content from reality. And you need to be able to distinguish heaven from hell. And I'm not making the claim as I used to make that this is heaven. I do believe, though, that you can perceive it as heaven. And if you perceive it as heaven, it'll be a lot better for you. So have these realizations. And and I'm not, if you have not realized this, I'm not, like, saying anything, like, beating up on you or, or don't you want to feel a certain way. Because let me tell you, at the core of it, if you've not realized this and you've not understood this shit, it's because you don't want to understand it. You really don't. No matter what your mind's telling you, you're, you don't. Because basically, it's a game of hide and seek. And it's a game of catch. And it's a game of... It's a game. But don't look at me saying it's a game as it's insignificant. Because that would be the wrong way to look at it. I'm just saying there's games within the game you could say, and most people, let's use a Monopoly analogy here, most people, let's just say we're playing Monopoly, most people confuse themselves for the dog, you know, the little figurine dog, most people confuse themselves for the dog, they just only see the board of Monopoly, and they tie their self and their... They they tie everything into the game, thinking that it is very important to get this property, to have this house, and then eventually a hotel on it, and I need the most money. And that can be an analogy used in life, but I'm not using that just for money. I'm using it for most of your life, realize this. Uh, and people don't realize they're playing a fucking game. Like, people don't realize they're playing Monopoly, so they get stuck into Monopoly, thinking Monopoly is, is it. And there's so much more beyond Monopoly that I'm trying to get you to see and understand. Most people that I've encountered, uh, myself included at a certain point, walk around being miserable, uh, trying to overthink everything, trying to defend um, some character they've created. At the core of you, you're not a character. But when you have that overinflation of an ego, you are playing into a character. That is not you. So, the way to do this, and I know for a... F I know. Most people don't want to walk around here being angry and egotistical and miserable and thinking the world's against them and thinking this is a shitty place to be. I know for a fact that's the case. So, wouldn't it benefit you to follow me here and let me introduce you to a new world and introduce you to a new way of seeing things and introduce you to a new appreciation for life? To actually enjoy life and quit playing Monopoly. That's something I'm trying to do. And uh, I've made all these promises. I've made grand claims over the past two years. And these grand claims and these promises are coming to fruition. So I really, really, really want to let you be able to experience life. And to be reborn and to see the beauty in it all. And there's reasons. Um, throughout this journey, if you're, if you're on this journey or getting ready to start this journey, there's going to be moments of doubt. There's going to be moments of you will be in hell. This is not, this is not, uh, this is not me coming to you and, and trying to portray it as anything else. You will go to hell. You will be here. In the same place. But you will be in hell. And it's needed. And the good thing is I will be there for you. I can guide you through it. I can walk you through it. And I can get you I can get you through it close to perfection. But the, that's needed. It's needed. You can't know heaven without hell. You can't fully be reborn until 
the old parts die and melt off, you could say. And I'm not coming at this in a in a way of saying like uh, these parts you need to die. They're not good. Don't love them because they need to be loved. But the thing is, that's really not you. So what I'm saying to you is we're trying to get the parts of you that are really not you to go away so we can build at the at the core of you. So, for example, let's say I came to you and I said 90% of you is going to die off. You would look at that as a negative. But what if I told you that the 10% that's left is you and the other 90% you've inflated over the years and you've created and you've molded. So you're just returning to you. And this is needed for, for multiple reasons, but the main reason is it's needed to appreciate things. It's needed to understand what you really have. And it's needed to... Hell's needed to know heaven, just put it that way. And there will be times to, to where you think you've hit your breaking point. There will be times to where you think you have hit a point of no return, and I can promise you that it's part of the process. You have to trust it. You need to trust it, and you need to believe in it. And a lot of this, my friends, is content. Don't get caught up in a shit show. Don't conform to a shit show. And what I mean by that is probably, and I don't want to make uh, claims like I personally know your life right now, but let's just pretend that you're caught up into trying to be cool on whatever, trying to fit in by doing things and acting ways you, you normally wouldn't. Then you get angry and aggressive if things don't go exactly your way. And you just keep building. You get hurt once or twice or whatever. And you build up a wall. You don't want that. You are going to be miserable. And that's not you. You don't want that. So you're playing a character. You're not... You've not realized you're... you're You've not realized you are the game, is what I'm saying. You haven't realized... You, you've not only not realized you're playing a game, but you've not realized the things outside the game, and you've also not realized who you are. And again, this is not coming at you in any way, because this is what you want. This is the game, my friend. This is what we do. It's what we do. So... But what I am telling you is I can get you through this and I can offer you rebirth if you follow me and take my advice and trust me. But it don't just have to be me. Like you need there will be a certain point to where I am some words of encouragement or I'm just words pointing you to a direction. There will come a certain point to when you fully get it and you fully follow yourself. You have to love God trust God and in loving and trusting God you also love and trust yourself and then the best thing you can do is to let let it go let everything go to get to a complete rebirth and then give control and trust up because your life's going to be a lot better and also realize that a lot of things that you think is impossible or think are crazy or think are, is coming from a very limited point of view and a fucked up perception. And it's, I don't want to say fucked up. Because it is part of it. It's what, you, it's what we do. I mean, it's what we do. So please let me help you find a rebirth. Please let me help you find God. Please let me help you love yourself. Please let me help you find Christ. And please let me help you just enjoy life. And drop the, the character that you have created and added on to over the years. The world's a lot better place when you can do those things and distinguish content and imagination from reality. A lot of your life's based upon imagination. And there has to be a certain moment in your mind where you know what imagination truly means. And not something different. Uh, you imagine a lot of a lot of your life, a lot of what ifs, a lot of other people's lives. It's all imagination. That's what I mean by that. So, my friends, uh, I love you. It is a game of form in the play of life. I am you talking to you. I've always been you talking to you, and I'm here for you. Love you guys.